Hey everyone, Perlis and Toys here, back with another Star Wars The Black Series review. Today we're looking at the Target exclusive Cobb Vant and Cad Bane 2 pack. Ooh, what a mouthful. Um, yeah, this fi these figures I didn't expect to come out for a long, long time. It actually, actually, I didn't even want these ones at first, but like after seeing these in person, or, well, seeing the box in person, um, I decided to go for it because we we don't have we haven't gotten the main line uh, release of Cad Bane yet, and Cobb Vanth he's a pretty cool character you know you can never go wrong buying another one for him of uh, him for the collection, and here we have the two of them out of the packaging and immediately I found something wrong you know I found a QC issue and it's it's a pretty upsetting one. It's on Cad Bane, you see one side of the hat, silver, the other, not painted at all. And I don't want to be that guy who just complains about everything because no, nobody wants to watch that. I don't want to watch that, you know? I don't think it's fun. But the amount of QC issues I have run into uh, ever since Hasbro implemented the windowless packaging it's just skyrocketed and it's so so disappointing to me that this company that I have like cherished for most of my life at this point um, has just continued to burn me figure after figure missing paint missing accessories and on top of that they want me to pay even more Especially in today's age where money is very scarce. You know, I can't go out and buy every single figure. And the ones that I do, sometimes, like, they're just... something. There's, something's off with them, you know? They're, they come with wrong parts. Missing paint, like I said. Uh, missing accessories. The wrong accessories. It's just so upsetting to me. It's so, so, so upsetting. And... <sighs> Just calm down, calm down, GP. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Um, luckily for us, they are going to return to windowed packaging, which I hope solves a bit of, like, alleviates some of that, uh, those problems. But until then, we're just going to have to keep getting stuff like this. Whew, that was a lot. Okay. Back to the video. All right, we only want good vibes from here on out. Just try to ignore that. But yeah, this Cad Bane is amazing. Now there is a, a version coming out for the main line. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe next year, later this year. Uh, but I do, the only difference between them is that this one has a different uh, face sculpt, which I'll take off the hat right here and. Yeah, you can see right there that looks pretty menacing. I'm not going to lie. That's really, really scary looking. Um, but yeah, I'll like move him over to the side, show the new one over there, right there. Yep, that's the main line. But yeah, this guy is just really, really cool. Just ignore the paint. Ignore the paint. <laughs> ignore the paint. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, it, it's just a spot-on recreation of Cad Bane from the TV show. Yeah, he comes with like a little, I, I don't even know, the breathing apparatus on his back. That's really, really cool. Um, and of course, like his gauntlets. Uh, yeah, very, very cool. It comes with the wires. His The bandolier looks great. And of course, like the under, oh wow, it's even painted under there. That's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, no paint on the pants, but that's all right. And he does have holsters so he can hold his blasters. Uh, don't know why you would want to use those because everyone's going to have him posed with, with the blasters on. And he has little bandoliers on his boots too. A pretty nice touch right there. And the boots are, mm, they're about the same color as the pants. So, you know, it's all right. But yeah, that head sculpt is really what sets it off for me. That's what really convinced me to buy it. And yeah, look at that. The little plate from when Boba shot him. Really, really nice. 
For accessories, Cad Bane comes with his iconic hat, Milady, and two blasters. But wait, there's more because he also comes with these little blaster effects. Yeah, like I haven't seen these in the line since that uh, Stormtrooper, uh, the Disney Store exclusive Stormtrooper. I, or I think it was a Toys R Us first, and then it went to Toys or the Disney stores after Toys R Us closed. But yeah, look at that. Boba, Boba, Boba Fat, Boba, Boba. And just for comparison, I did pull out the E11 blaster that came with those stormtroopers and the little blaster effect that you were able to put on it. And um. I kind of like the the darker tone used here, but I do like the size of this one more. You know, this one just felt a little bit too big. Uh, it just looked like a flamethrower at this point, but this one is, I mean, it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, what more can you say? But wait, there's even more because he has this little wrist peg in the gauntlet right there that you can plug this flamethrower uh, accessory into. Now let's do that. Yeah. 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 Boba Fett. Mine seems to be having some issues like holding the arm up with this with this effect. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks alright. It looks okay. For articulation, the head goes up this much, it goes down that much. Uh, rocker pivot in the neck and it goes side to side all around same with the arm all around there's actually a butterfly joint right there so you can get some extra movement in and out like that uh, goes all the way around single jointed elbow which goes out which goes back this much goes in that much not a whole lot kind of disappointing uh, hands are have these thingies <laughs> just normal hands you know Let's see, is there an ab crunch under, oh no, there's a diaphragm joint down here, right next to the bandolier. You go down here, leg goes out that much, goes back this much. He can't kick his own butt, but it does go back a decent amount. Um, there's no upper thigh swivel, there's a little pivot in there, I don't know what that's called. But there is a single jointed knee, and the knee twist, uh, knee swivel, I guess, I guess, um, the, oh boy, I don't want, I want to be really careful with that leg, that's really stiff, uh, there we go, the foot goes down that much, goes up this much, and there's ankle rocker pivot, and next up we have everyone's favorite marshal, Cobb Vant, and here we have the two-pack Cobb Vant next to the deluxe Cobb Vant, and I can't tell you why this one was ten dollars more than this like come on really because of the armor give me a break but anyways um yeah like in just in the face i feel like ooh, i feel like this one is an improvement uh I, it's too hard to say like because i like the obviously the photo reel in this face looks great but this one looks closer to the actor's likeness Oh, I don't know. This is really hard to choose. But unlike Cobb Vanth, who came with, uh, you know, a decent amount of accessories, the two-pack one only comes with one, and that is his blaster, which is... <sighs> I mean... Yeah. The sculpting is nice. Like, these little details are a part of the mold, so they're not, like, painted on. Uh, I really like this scarf. Uh, I'm wondering if this is actually reused for the Hunter that's coming out, the Walmart exclusive for Bad Batch Season 2. <laughs> you know, interesting. But, yeah, other than that, like, it's the same pants. Uh, obviously, there's no knee pad there. The different boots, are they? No, they're the same boots, just different color. This one has some dry brushing for this to mimic sand. Um... Yeah, but the holster is the same color. The sleeves, I think the sleeves are the same pieces, actually. And does he have a butterfly joint? He does not. But, yeah, there he is. Taking a look at the back, that's very, very shiny. Um, but, yeah, let's go, go over articulation. The head goes up 
a pretty good amount. Wow. And it goes down a really good amount. Wow, look at that. Good for you, Cobb. And his head goes side to side. What the? F this dude has the best uh, neck articulation ever. What the hell? Um, his arm goes up about that much. You know, it goes all the way around. Single jointed, it only gets about just over 90 degrees. And standard wrist articulation for both hands. He has a diaphragm joint right under the belt uh, and his leg goes out this much it goes back nothing single jointed knee goes back 90 degree angle um it goes back that much upper thigh swivel and then the single joint knee and also has a knee swivel and then down at the boots you, the foot goes down that much goes up this much and there's ankle rocker pivot and my favorite part of any review Size comparison. So here we have the two pack Cobb Vans next to the deluxe Cobb Vans and the mainline Mandalorian with a baby Grogu. Here we have him next to a Tusken Raider and an Imperial Stormtrooper, Boba Fett and Fennec Shand, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and Clone Wars Obi Wan Kenobi, Bad Batch Cad Bane and the Clone Wars Cad Bane. And now we have Cad Bane next to Armored Cobb Vans and the Mandalorian with a baby Grogu, Imperial Stormtrooper and Tusken Raider, Fennec Shand and Boba Fett. And then we have Return of the Jedi Boba Fett and Clone Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi, Bad Batch Cad Bane and Clone Wars Cad Bane. And I think I'm actually going to do a video for all three of these, you know, which one is the best. Stay tuned for that. And finally, here we have them next to each other and the Marvel Legends Spider-Ham. So overall, my thoughts, pretty cool set. Really wish it didn't have the little QC issue up there, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, I would say this set is worth it. Uh, only if you don't have Cobb Vanth already, or if you do have them, if you're just really impatient and want Book of Boba Fett Cad Bane in your collection right now. Um, if not, I would just wait, spend just 25 bucks on the main line Cad Bane. Um, both pretty much the same but anyways that'll do it for today's video i hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe share with a friend anything would greatly greatly help the channel grow and with that i will see you in the next one mm. bye boba boba fett boba fett boba fett like a panther <laughs>